Hello and welcome back to Dave's Post-Apocalyptic World. In today's episode, we're going to try to operate the dinosaur jaw remotely using some kind of a motor or pulley system. And in the past, we've been using like a broom handle to operate the jaw, but that can only be done up close. And so if we try to do like a long shot of the dinosaur with the jaw moving, currently we're not able to do that. So the method we're going to attempt is to use a motor from our Reality DOF electronic chair moving system for the video games that I, I got a long time ago, really cheap. But it came with extra motors and hopefully we'll be able to operate those remotely and invent some kind of a mechanism that'll be able to operate the jaw from a distance using like a regular joystick. So here we go. The first step is going to be to take down the jaw and to work out where the pulley is going to go. And we have various tools here, a pulley, a rod. And our first step is going to be to attach the pulley so that it can be pulled like this. So let's get started. Well, we've got our pulley there and hopefully it's enough torque that it'll be able to hold the weight of the jaw going up and down when we attach a string to it. So the next big job is to somehow attach this motor, which we're pretty sure we can operate with a laptop and a remote joystick to be able to control it like a servo, like on a model airplane and have this arm pull and push the string enough to make the jaw operate. So that's the next step. So this is our first trial run. And so we put a string attaching it to the bottom rod where it's gonna go. And the first impression is that there's going to be some alignment issue because it's pretty tight there where it goes between the teeth. But that's the engineering part of it and that's why it's a challenge.
Okay, this is the morning after, welcome back. And we've made some modifications to our little motor from yesterday. We drilled an extra hole in the arm and then attached this scrap piece of aluminum. This would be like an adjustable arm, which we can then fine tune with how much of the pulley string we can pull. And it's hooked up here. Let's see if we can get it moving a little bit. So here we're gonna try to control it with the mouse with this program. So it's going through this interface where the motor acts as a servo that could be controlled by a computer. So here, if we move the mouse, we've got the arm. So the hardest part here, I think, is going to be so that setting it up so that it doesn't go too far and actually crash the jaw. That's kind of the worst case scenario. So that's with the mouse. But then we can go with the joystick, turn that on. And then we've got this flight stick here. Whoa. Oh, we broke it. This, with this flight stick, we should be able to, let me see if I can show this here. With the flight stick, we should be able to control our jaw like this. And then if that works, we can then move on to maybe a wireless controller. Okay, so that's the hope, that's the idea. And now we're going to see how we're gonna attach this to the frame and then to the string. Let's do that now. So here's the first try, up position. Yeah, that didn't work. So this did not work because if we can look side by side with the video, we got this down, up. Well, nothing's breaking, so that's pretty cool. Right from this angle. But I think you were able to see kind of like what the mechanism is going to be. Here it is from different angles. So now I'm going to.
Okay, why don't we go on a small ski break on the rooftop and we'll be back with some fine tuning right after this. All right, folks, so here's what we've done. We've moved the motor, if you can see here, more like perpendicular in order to have it so that when the arm moves, it pulls this way and moves it back that way. So let's do some tests. First, with the throttle controller. So this is running smoothly. I don't know if we can tell here, but these are the tests. And so there is some give there, so it doesn't crash. Get a few shots of that. Wow. Hey, David, you are very smart and you are very handsome. Why, well, thank you, Mrs. Dinosaur. We can see the mechanism in there. Wow. Okay, so now the next experiment is to see if we can make this work with the wireless controller.
So thanks for joining me on my first animatronics adventure. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Also, I've got a whole series dedicated to the building of this 3D printed dinosaur right here in house over here somewhere. And as always, we'll see you next time on Days Post-Apocalyptic World.